becomes question, I think it's six for 600 points. So again, this is in radians here. For what values of x in the closed interval from zero to two pi, so that includes both endpoints, is cosine of x equal to tangent of x? And so I might distract you if I read all those choices, uh, so I won't read them, uh, but uh, there they are. And each of, the cho each of the intervals in the choices is an open interval. Uh, so it's worth 600 points. I, I will read them if you want, so you just ask, but I, I won't want to disturb you. And it's worth 600 points, and you have 90 seconds. Time is up for 600 points. The correct answer is three. Uh, three people got it right. It was A, uh, one value in the open interval from pi over six to pi over four, and one from three pi over six, uh, three pi over four to five pi over six. Uh, who got that one right? Okay, we'll hit right, good. Uh, and so, Evan, how'd you get that? Well, cosine x equals tan x. I multiplied it through by cosine x. I got cosine squared x equals sine x. And then I replaced cosine squared with one minus sine squared. And so I get this quadratic equation, sine squared x plus sine x minus one equals zero. And that's a golden ratio equation. It's got two roots. One of them is like negative 1.618. I can forget that one. <laughs> and one of them is like 0 0.618. And that has to be what sine x is equal to. And so I know that uh, because sine is positive, the angle has to be between 0 and pi. And I figure the sine is like 0 0.6. So it has to be greater than 30 degrees, because that would be a sine of, of a half. And it has to be less than 45 degrees, so be because that would be a sine of 0.7. And so the only one that has a choice in there is A. And then the other one is symmetric. So that, that's a very good explanation, Evan. Uh, that, that's exactly how to solve it. Uh, and uh, so again, very good for the other two people who got that right for 600 points. We'll see what the score is now. Uh, David, still in first place at 2,100. Uh, Rohit and Evan, those are the three who got that right. They're tied for second at 1,700. Richard with 1,200. Uh, and Daniel with 600. So uh, it's good to recognize that golden ratio equation. Uh, and uh, that saves you some time. Maybe you have to use the quadratic formula, but that, that is a kind of a popular, or it's an important number, uh, one that comes up often. Uh, so, and nice explanation of it. Thank you. Oh, Evan, and by the way, I remember, see, you were in the contest last year, as Rohit was, uh, and you won the contest last year in San Francisco, kind of on your home turf. Now you're on the road, you might say. Uh, and at, at that time last year, I asked you if that was, if the contest in 2010 was the most prestigious math contest you'd ever been in. So I'm not going to give you another chance at that one. <laughs> is this math contest the most prestigious math contest you've ever been in? No. <laughs> well, what, what else could be better than this? What else, what else have you done, Evan? Well, I've still been going to the IMO. Uh-huh. And to the International Mathematical Olympiad. And you, this year was in Kazakhstan, is that right, last yeah. summer? And then how, how did you do? I got a gold medal. I got the second place in the world. Second place in the world. Nice going. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's good. And, and uh, then after that, you got a phone call, from, probably from a lot of people. Uh, but <laughs> oh, so this would be a chance for me to say, and then am I in the most, we did an interview on the phone, remember, before the game, so people could learn a little bit about what we did with all the contestants, posted on the website. And then I asked you if this was the most exciting or most important phone call you'd ever had, and what did you say then? I don't remember what I said. Oh, well, <laughs> fortunately we recorded, and I remember you said no, and then you said you got a phone call from the president. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So hey, I'm glad you confirmed that. That's good. So now I know that it was you I was talking to. So the president congratulated him after he uh, did so well in the Olympia. Uh, so th that's nice going to be in the Olympia. Uh, and, and to get, so that was your second gold medal and you'd had a silver medal before that, or two silvers and a gold. I'd had two silvers and that was my first gold. Yeah, nice going. Very good. Uh, and, but they don't give me any money. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he won the spelling bee when he was younger, too, so that's very good. Uh, and then uh, we also, you know, the contestants have, have lots of uh, talents as well. Uh, David, oh, no, Richard, you played Scrabble, is that right? Yes. And then how did you do at the most recent Scrabble competition? Um, I won first place in Division 4. Division 4, that's good. Uh, and that could also be Uroth, but it doesn't give you any points in Scrabble. Uh, and so, so that's very good as well. And Division, is it? Like, is that an age it's designation? Or? It's what? It's by rating. 
right? Great rating, okay. So, and so you must have a pretty good rating to have won, did that then bump you up into Division Three? It'll bump me up higher, but I don't know what division. All right, uh, so, so congratulations on doing that as well.